Hello everybody, this is Fadi, and in this tutorial I will show you how to perform an inert simulation in Ladybug and the Grasshopper. So I collected these graphs from the energy simulation of these maybe spaces. We have here two rooms, maybe office building, office spaces, and one corridor here. And I have created these uh, simulations or graphs about the energy use in these spaces so how we can do that let's do that together so i am here in rhino and as you see i have to here these two geometries with the corridor and i will go to grasshopper and start from the scratch but before we getting started i would like to ask you to subscribe the channel and like the videos if you are interested in more tutorials in this kind first of all I have to go to ladybug and bring the ladybug component and put it in the canvas also I have to bring the honeybee and put it here in the canvas let's now give the bifocal here to have the names this will facilitate to you okay now first of all I have to double click and write geometry and let's copy that one for the offices and one for the corridor I will go for example here for multiple and choose set multiple geometry for the corridors and if you want to change that to maybe the name to office okay you can see that it changed to the office and for the second one I choose the corridor let's also change that to corridor okay now we have to bring something that called mass to zone in honeybee and connect the offices zones geometry and the corridor but we have to click shift here and as you see if I put a panel here you can see that I have null because I didn't create the honeybee zone so I have to now bring it Pauline toggle and connect it here sorry and turn it to true and as you see here I have three closed beep two offices and one corridor so let's move on now we have as you see let's hide these geometries and grasshopper now know that these are honeybee zones now we have to uh, solve the adjacent between them to let uh, grasshopper know that where is the walls where is the interior walls the ground floors the roof etc so i have to bring this honeybee solve adjacent and connect these to the solve adjacent let's also make sure about what we get also we have to copy this and also run the adjacent to find the adjacent between them maybe yes we have now three frames okay now we solve the adjacent between the zones we can also now uh, apply windows maybe to this elevation which is a uh, south elevation so how we can do that I will bring component that is called glassing based on ratio and connect the honeybee zones to that for the glassing ratio I will bring another component that is called glassing parameter list and connect it to the glassing ratio 
I need to adjust now, uh, assign now uh, parameter or number slider of the south elevation parameter. I will go with 0.3 for the glassing ratio. And now also we have to run it by assign a toggle boolean here. Once I hit to true, as you see, I have windows on the south elevation of these offices. Okay, now maybe we can also, if you want to visualize them, we can use decompose, honeybee decompose based on type. Let's choose walls, roofs, floors or ground floors and windows to visualize them in uh, such way. I will go to custom, preview, maybe I need also swatch, let's uh, give them white, okay white for the material, I will bring the walls the roofs and click shift here also and for the floors or the ground floor also I will take them maybe we need to want to preview this and also this maybe also the geometry click preview of as you see I have a color here maybe I need to assign some material to window maybe I can, can copy this right click and disconnect all I will give the window maybe something like this color and connect the windows to the geometry so I have this now that this is just for visualization now we need to uh, bring the uh, energy plus run energy plus simulation so I will write here run energy plus simulation this component but in this component let's see what we need we need dbw file and we need the honeybee zones so I will connect now the honeybee zones to the honeybee zones in the energy plus simulation I need EBDW file so I will double click and have a file path here right click and set one existing maybe I can go with some of EBW file here for Antalya city and connect it to the EBW file here okay as you see now I need also maybe the simulation output so I will go to find the simulation output here I have honeybee simulation output it's not that let's write output yes this one honeybee generate energy plus output and in this tutorial we need just to see the zone energy use maybe you can also have the zone comfort matrix or anything you want maybe in next videos we can also uh, explain how to make a thermal comfort simulation but in this tutorial I will have to go with the zone energy I will connect this boolean toggle to the zone energy use double click and then connect the simulation output to the simulation output in the energy plus maybe we are ready now but we have also to run this energy simulation so I want to give here the run energy plus and also the right IDF in order to have the results in your file and once I click to true it will make some warming up to make the simulation for the spaces that we assigned once finished you can see that there is no results here or in the rhino so how we can 
visualize these pro uh, results first of all we have to read the result file address so I will go here and write read or maybe we can write result to have the correct one we need uh, honeybee read energy plus honeybee read energy plus results where we can do maybe this one no results I think this one yes and we have now to connect the file uh, address result file address to the result file address here it will take some time to read the results so as you see it will be just uh, include the energy use in these spaces so I have total thermal load total load balance cooling heating loads electrical light and electrical equipment because they are related to uh, the uh, energy use in the spaces so how we can visualize or have something of that let's do maybe a panel here for the total thermal loads and, and as you see I have now a list of the uh, let's say the total thermal uh, results all over the year and this is the default all over the year because here we have uh, analysis period and the default is all an optional analysis period you can assign that from the ladybug so if you want to assign analysis period you can come here to ladybug analysis period and assign from month to month from day to day from hour to hour but the default is about all the entire year year <coughs> so now how we can visualize this data for example if I want to know how uh, what is the cooling and heating loads in these uh, offices we can now go to visualize and ladybug 3d chart I will put it here maybe we can also give for example the heating or cooling let's take the cooling loads and connect it to the ladybug 3d chart as you see it will take maybe some time but as the result it will give you the graphs for the three spaces for example the offices and the, also the corridor we have here the kilowatt uh, all over the year from January to December in the selected uh, area that we put so now this is parametric so if I uh, change for example to the total thermal loads it will be changed automatically for the graphs as you see here also we can maybe change the this uh, let's say red lines by coming here for the graph mesh or graph curves we can use custom preview for the mesh for the curves and you can give him a swatch color let's say that we need a black okay as you see it will be turned on and now if you want these uh, graphs to be out or exported to as a gpeg or pdf you can go to file print and you can play now with the image size maybe to have your graphs out of this as a bng or tiff or gbeg that's all for today i wish that this is the basics of energy simulation in ladybug 
this is a quick tutorial i wish that you are interested in it and please subscribe the channel for more tutorials goodbye